the concrete of the 21st century. Gives a whole new way of designing and building with wood. Another tool added to our toolbox. We can go as high as like 10 or 12 stories. Engineers are very comfortable in using it. CLT fundamentally allows us to, to compete with steel and concrete. And I think whenever you have a prefabricated panelized system, uh, you're going to have some inherent cost benefits in, in the speed of construction. Quick, easy, accurate to put up. You know, four, six story low rise going up in weeks. The multi-story buildings in Europe, all the panels were prefabricated. They were able to put one story per week. For an eight story building, they were able to put the structural system within eight weeks. The seven story CLT building was tested on a shake table in Japan, survived uh, over 14 different events of earthquakes with very minimum damage. The laminated or CLT is the equivalent of what's called heavy timber construction, so it has an inherent fire resistance rating. You take the finger jointed lamina, picked up, put in a tray, the glue goes over top of it, then the short ones at 90 degrees, long ones, short ones, you build up the panel that way. Into a press it goes, 40 feet long and 10 feet wide, and up to 12 inches thick. So it's suitable for floor plates, slabs, and things like that. There's a whole range of types of buildings now that used to traditionally be built in concrete and steel, but now will be able to be built in wood. The handbook that we published, it has two purposes. One is to facilitate the use of CLT under the alternative solutions had in the building codes. Basically, it is not in the building code, but each building code says, if you have a system and if you have the credible information, the designer is allowed to use that information under alternative solutions. The United States uh, will be meeting here shortly uh, with the people that put on this conference to look at a handbook for United States standards. We need to fundamentally make this shift towards, towards timber to, to address climate change. From a carbon point of view, it's almost a perfect product. Wood has this natural ability to adapt to make the comfort of the spaces that we build better. And that's a really unique property of wood. So CLT buildings have that natural property. What's happened, what's interesting, is the very high-end hotels in, in Central Europe, as an example, have moved towards all wood structures for that reason. It's also enabling us to not use materials that have a higher impact. I think people are recognizing um, how carbon intensive concrete and steel are really how beneficial wood can be. Wood is truly the only sustainable building material. But also now it's looking at what's the cost of operating that building during its life cycle. And they're finding that CLT structures are more energy efficient. All people in the world really relate to it in a different way than steel and concrete. And just on aesthetics, that, that creates a huge opportunity for CLT. There's something about CLT that I think captures people's imagination. With all the support and the momentum that we see coming from the wood industry, from the construction industry, from the government, at the provincial level, at the federal level, it's, it's a success story. The whole system is going to take off. I can see it.